Well, let's go see what Zelda dropped in the moat. Oh, come on. You found the Ocarina of Time. The royal family's hidden treasure which Zelda left behind. Yep. Now we've got the Ocarina of Time. Say goodbye to that fairy ocarina. And yep, after collecting that ocarina, get a quick meeting with Zelda, but pretty much in a, uh, kind of spiritual way. Hmm, I totally understand. You've learned the Thawn of Time. And this Thawn will not necessarily be used for the Door of Time. It'll be used for um, other things, too. Play this melody in front of the altar in Temple of Time. You must protect the Triforce. Hmm. I'll make sure I do my best, Zelda. Well, head on over to that Temple of Time. Which is over here. <laughs> yeah, sorry if I'm sounding kind of quiet here. It's just, um... Just, it just feels really touching to see that kind of um, cutscene after you grab the uh, Ocarina of Time. It really is. But yet, this is what Zelda was standing in front of as, um, as she was teaching that song to me. There are three hollows and an inscription here. Ye who owns three spiritual stones, stand with the Ocarina of Time and play the Song of Time. Okay. Oh, baby. But yeah, you get to see them hanging in the air that for that long. <laughs> there goes the door of time opening up. Yeah, whenever you have those down in there, you're pretty much going to hear them like that for quite a while. Now, if you look at this little glitch right here, there's a wall right there, but there's not necessarily a wall. Just as we go further along, it kind of disappears like that. It's just a kind of a major glitch in this game, but uh, I was wondering if it got patched up a little bit in the Virtual Console version, but I guess it did not. But better move on. <laughs> Anyways, inside the Door of Time, it's pretty much the pinnacle item of the entire game. Legendary Blade. The Master Sword. Yep. So yeah, we're pretty much going to do a little bit of um, something that's kind of like... 
pretty much what you see in some movies. <laughs> Now you get an appearance by Ganondorf. Mm. Yeah, he must have kept watch on me the whole time. fast asleep? I must have been. Waking up to a lot of blue in here. But it definitely looks like <laughs> we're in some kind of chamber. But this is definitely through Link's, or Bess's eyes. I keep saying Link, but... And this guy. <laughs> I am Raru, one of the ancient sages. Yeah, if you recall the ancient sages building the Temple of Time, th this is where you got this is where you got it from. Chamber of Sages inside the Temple of Light. <laughs> Master Sword. The final key to the Sacred Realm. Don't be alarmed, look at yourself. <laughs> yeah, hope you don't get alarmed. <laughs> yep. Pretty much grew up now. That's right. Don't know how he grew up, but it's like... How did that happen? <laughs> Which evil ones may never touch. Hmm. I kind of felt like a hero of time. A little bit. I hope that... Hope that works out for you. Too young. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. <laughs> Seven years. Man, so it took me seven years just to really fully develop into the Hero of Time? I guess so. Okay. You understand your destiny? Yes, I do. So you open the door of time in the name of peace. Yeah, I mean, uh... I, I opened it in the name of peace. What else? What what did I do wrong though? It's like we, you were just too young though. <laughs> yeah. Guess guess we didn't turn my back on him. Became the king of evil now. That doesn't sound good at all. My gosh. There is still hope. <laughs> Let's hope there is. <laughs> Power of the Sages remains. That sounds great. I'm glad to hear that.
definitely gonna be willing to do that. <laughs> and anytime a sage is unlocked, get a medallion. So yeah, this is kind of like getting a spiritual stone, but it's just a just a medallion just to um give out a record for it. Find the other sages. Pretty much got no choice but to do that. Temple of Time. <laughs> Never imagined it looking like that. But yep. Back in front of the pedestal of time. Hmm, I guess they have really passed. <laughs> yep, that's correct. Not gonna be able to use some of them. Let's get out of here. Yeah, get out and find those sages. Ooh. Who are you? I've been waiting for you, hero of time. Yeah, probably, I'm not that good at voicing this guy. <laughs> who dwell in the five temples. One in a deep forest. One on a high mountain. One under a vast lake. <laughs> one within the House of the Dead. And one inside a Goddess of the Sand. The Sheikah, eh? I am Sheik, survivor of the Sheikahs. Glad to hear that. <laughs> you believe the legend? You have no choice. Yep. Awaken those five sages. One sage is awakened, waiting in the forest temple. The sage is a girl I am sure you know. Well, let's see. Pretty sure we know who that, who that would be. She cannot hear the awakening call from the sacred realm. Equipped as you currently are, you cannot even enter the temple. That sounds frustrating. You should head to Kakariko Village. Yes, I understand. Well, that's going to pretty much do it for this week of Ocarina of Time. Yeah, I kind of started out with a pretty strong strong week of getting this um spiritual stone of water the last one and then um ending up with best doing that <laughs> yeah better move him around a little bit just to make sure he doesn't do that too much <laughs> or just um put it away <laughs> anyways i am going to close out the episode right here <laughs> and we'll take care of what needs to be done in kakariko village next time Hope you guys enjoyed this week of Ocarina of Time. This has been the Twi King. I will see you all next week for Bess's adventure as an adult in this quest to release the five sages instead of just collecting spiritual stones now. Again, thanks for watching. Have a great day. So long. <laughs>